Hey friend, in this video, we are continuing our tree series and we are painting three different types of trees today, a birch tree, a palm tree, and a cherry tree. So this is a very, very fun tutorial. It's very bright, very colorful. And I'm gonna show you a few techniques that I think are really, really easy to grasp, but look amazing. <laughs> Everyone likes that. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Alrighty, so we're gonna be painting, extending our tree painting series with a birch tree, a palm tree, and then a cherry tree. For our birch tree, the trunk of the tree is white and it has brown spots, like eye-shaped spots for where branches grow out of. So I'm gonna start with this burnt umber Mars black mixture on my brush, but then I'm gonna release most of it off of off in my water so that the trunk of my tree starts with basically just a really light brown water layer. And we're just going to use the belly of the brush. I'm gonna go back over it with water a few times so that I know it stays really wet. At this point, while it is still wet, I'm gonna go back and plop in some of these dark brown spots so that it, you know, blends kind of in this fun wet and wet way. Some are spots, some are lines. And then rinse off my brush again for just water and give it some branches. This whole tree I wanna paint kind of fast cause I want my green to start blending into the trunks too. I'm gonna to do a yellow green for my green the majority of my leaves, and then some of them will be, will be more green than yellow green. And for these leaves, I'm just going to use a slanted hold and plop. That's the technical term. Adding plopped leaves here and there, little dots. dancing along the tree. And then I'm gonna do lighter versions of that color. Plop. And more dark green. Really running low on sap green here. It's my favorite green color. Need to build up the top of this tree. Again, and add some stems or branches.
go. Next, I'm gonna do a palm tree using the same color for the trunk, this dark brown, burnt umber and Mars black. And I'm gonna do a very simple palm tree. So I'm gonna start with a slanted hold using mostly the belly of my brush for the trunk for a C-curve, kind of like we do for stems. Keep it light and sketchy. Then I'm gonna do a really dark, not a really dark, but sap green, a touch of Prussian blue and black for my leaves. I'm gonna always start each branch, palm, whatever, from the center of the stem and pull out a really thin C curve. And then for my branches, I'm just kind of pushing really lightly on, or my leaves, I'm pushing really lightly on the tip of my brush. Some leaves are crossing over others. Palm three. And then last but not least was a cherry, cherry tree. I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of my trunk color. For our cherry tree, the overall shape of the foliage on the tree is little clusters that are kind of in a ball shape that make a, like this shape triangle, you know, roughly. So we're gonna do a more straight up and down trunk situation using the side of the brush. Then I'll have some pokes of branches coming through the flowers, which the flower color I'm gonna do opera rose with a touch of orange. and yellow, yellow ochre, to make it more of like a rose or a dusty pink. We're just going to use the tip of the brush and make these blobbies. Your girl didn't go to art school, so these are technical terms here. Make it as bushy and airy feeling as you can with the white space. And some of my color has more yellow ochre in it than other parts to add depth.
getting lighter around the edges of each cluster to show a little fade. And then I might go back in and add brown pokes for branches pointing to various flowers. There you go. So typically a cherry tree is a little more round, but I was running out of space and I just kept going. It's loose. It's your own interpretation. Have fun with it. Whether you're painting a landscape or you're painting individual trees, don't, you know, take things too literally all the time. It's good to have fun and change it up and do your own perspective. There you have it. Three easy trees. Wasn't that easy? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tree out of this series was to paint of, was to paint, period, question mark. <laughs> uh, let me know what tree was your favorite out of this series to paint. Was it the birch, the palm, or the cherry? And then also let me know if you'd uh, like to see more trees and you've seen all the other parts. We've done two other tree parts, I think. What tree would you like to see? Good one. Dr. Seuss. Lots of children's books in this house. Anyway, um, that's all. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial.